Welcome whiskey aficionados to review number 12. I'm Trevor and I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Um, it's really just uh, an education and my personal opinion on a few drums. Um, today, as promised, we're going to look at um, Tom Tool. I have my um, very large bottle here. It's a uh, 10 year old. It's a space out. And um, it's known as the Gentle Dram. So, Tom and Tool Distillery is um, it's in between uh, Aberdeen and Inverness, right sort of smack in the middle, and in the Glen Glenavet estate, and uh, it's right up there in the Highlands of Scotland. So um, it really is a space side. Uh, the River Spey is not uh, not too far away at the top end, and this particular um, whiskey is matured in bourbon casks. Um, so yeah, let's have a have a look at it. It's very well presented and um, this is just uh, the marketing people develop these for really for tasting uh, for small amounts but it's the same as if you were buying the, the large barrel if you like and uh, yeah Robert Fleming is the master distiller. Let's have a look. They give you enough for um, approximately two drinks in this, so gives you a good opportunity to try the thing out just in case you're thinking of purchasing a bottle. It's in the region of around about $100 I believe for you know a bottle. It's got a nice amber, golden amber look, um, which is quite quite typical of a space eye. It's not very rich looking, it's not very deep looking, just, just a nice, uh, nice plain amber whiskey if you like seems to be holding its own in the sides, which means it's got a little bit of, little bit of something going on there, a little bit of texture. All right, so the official tasting notes will tell you that, um, I've brought them down a little bit because they are long, but uh, they will say citrus toffee notes with a hint of raisins on the nose. So let's, let's try that first. Uh, I got a floral, sweet floral, even a touch of caramel, or toffee, okay, toffee. Um, so yeah, so that, that, it says a hint of raisins, can't smell raisins, okay, but flowery, caramel or toffee, they say citrus, I'm saying sort of floral. On the taste, um, the official tasting notes will come up as citrus, toffee tones, sorry, that's the, that's the aroma, clean, creamy, sweetness balanced by gentle, oaky spice. Let's try it. It's mild. Now, even on the packaging, it says the gentle dram. So I can see the logic behind that because there's no harshness. It's mild. It's mildly sweet, um, which again in the official tasting it says some sweetness. It's not a very sweet drop. Um, there's a little bit of tingliness. So maybe maybe associate that with some spice. Yes, it's it's very very nice actually. Definitely definitely a woody taste I guess. Um, the official notes will say enduring sweetness followed by spice on the finish. I'm going to try it just with a little splash of water. I don't even think it needs it to be to be honest. Just a just a tad. It's a everyday drinker. You can enjoy that. Um, you can enjoy that all night long. Um, just slowly sipping away. Um, it's very pleasant. Uh, certainly, they're doing good things over there. I would put this in the 80s, but probably at the low end, 
Um, and to that, to that effect, we're going to look at um, 80 out of 100 today for Tom and Tool. A little bit of housekeeping, guys. Um, please subscribe. The button's just up here. Share the video. Comment on the video. Let's let's hear what you have to say. Let's hear what your experience is um, with any of the whiskies I've tried or anything else you've tried that you'd like me to um, have a go at and review. Um, it's a terrible, terrible um, job reviewing whiskey, but um, someone's got to do it. Until next time, and speaking of next time, we're going to go back to the more commercial side of things, and we're going to look at the famous, perhaps finest Scotch whiskey. Thank you to Michael Wybro for providing that for me. It's always excellent to receive some, some whiskey. So until next time, be safe, drink safe, quality over quantity. Cheers, guys. See you soon.